Real Car as a concept started as a 17-page proposal that we submitted to Innovate UK. Following that, we've developed a next generation material, in this case an aluminium alloy. And ultimately, we've reduced the cost base for our business and also reduced the carbon footprint of our operations. What the project has delivered is a whole new business model, a circular economy business model, specifically in this case for aluminium, but it's a model that could be applied to other sectors. But it has improved our internal processes. We've developed a lessons learned document, an extensive document that captures all the positive lessons learned, and that's essential so we can apply it not just into our own facilities, but also our suppliers and also into other commodity areas outside aluminium. The press line has been a significant investment here at Halewood and the scrap system to support that press line has been a £5.8 million investment. The supply chain have also invested in their facilities to support us. So our workforce has been retrained on site from essentially manual activities and upskill to run the new system and also learn what's been important to segregate the materials and produce a quality product. Uh, since the aluminium was brought into the plant roughly two and a half years ago, We've had uh, new scrap coordinators, one on each shift. We set out to increase our recycling content towards an 80% in the longer term, uh, and the project here has enabled us to work with one of our key customers to accelerate that uh, area of development in the automotive sector. So that's allowed us to uh, help underpin a new investment there, an investment probably of around about £6 million. Some of the benefits that come out of it also relate to us being able to secure new jobs on site, reintroduce into productive use some of the furnaces and the building that we had here that had uh, uh, fallen by the wayside in the last few years. We've been able to increase UK jobs, UK manufacturing, a bit more uh, stability in the local economy. So I think for us as a, as a site in our Warrington UK operation it's been a very successful uh, partnership. The project team has made a positive effort to engage with other stakeholders in that supply chain. We've been engaging with other potential future partners, we've also been involved conferences. It's really about getting the story across and the importance of applying these approaches and techniques in the whole supply chain so we become much more resource efficient.